Oh, Beans, what's going on with you? Sure already know. Back with your homeboy, Wrench Turner. You see me on location at the shop, so of course, you've seen the thumbnail. So you know I got something to talk about, right? Come on up in the house. What's up with your good people? What's going on? What's good? Glad to be back. Glad to be seen. You know, I know you guys haven't seen a video from me in a minute, but it's cool. I'm back now. Let's get to it. Let's get it, I want to remind you guys to pull up to VaustinBridges.com for all your get fly needs. I want to remind you to stop by and stay fly. If you are already a fly guy, fly gal, however you would like to put it, if you have been fly for quite some time, then you would look great in Boston Bridges gear. So I want to remind you to pull up to VaustinBridges.com for all your get fly needs. As you see in the thumbnail, and I know, you know, a lot of you probably read. There are going to be some changes coming from Dodge in the next couple years. But from everything that I've seen has present going into the future, it's nothing new. All right. So I read that the Pentastar, out of here. They're doing away with it. It's over. They are talking about going to a straight six, adding boost. <laughs> oh, you're not laughing. It's it's I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at them. Because in line six with Boost, um, you sit beside BMWs or try to sit beside BMWs. Now, off the rip, we're talking about in between 300 and 500 horses. I know, I know that's a that's a big gap, right? It is. But when you're dealing with boosts, you're dealing with a lot of variants. Now, you think about it. You think about staples. The Hellcat motor was supposed to be a staple, but that's out of here too. Because they're going to be replacing that. With, the, with with electrics <laughs> yeah yeah if you didn't know if you hadn't read before they're going to be placing the Hellcat motor with electrics so your Challenger your Charger will be all electric or maybe just maybe they put the inline six add the turbo and throw two electric motors on the front, making it a four-wheel drive problem. Huge problem for a lot of your current Hellcat owners. <laughs> Just being honest with you, all right? Because you think, if you have electrics on the front and you already got Four, five hundred going to the back. What's that? A hundred, fifty, two hundred per motor in the front. So you're looking at eight, nine hundred horses, maybe. All wheel drive. You tell me that's not going to be a problem, huh? I already know that's going to be a problem. So. When you're dealing with tunes and you're going from stop, you already know what most of you guys want to do. Muffler delete, 
get your exhaust done. Or, or some people are going to get the whole exhaust done, not just a section. Okay? So, for those of you that are going to get your mid muffler delete done, and you go get your, your air filter, can in, whoever you, you choose. Just that and a tune. If it's coming stock, 300 and some change, after you do that and a tune, you, you have to be at 450, 500. Easily. You know it. Everybody knows it. If you don't know it, you might want to ask somebody that does tuning. Because a tune can change your whole vehicle. <laughs> Not going into the motor, uh, changing mechanics, changing hardware. Nah, nah, because sometimes you just need a little bit more air. You just need a little bit more fuel. You can make a little bit more power. You know what I mean? So when I'm looking at the inline six with the turbo, we're probably saying goodbye to the 572. You know what I mean, what you think? Anybody, anybody that has any thoughts on this, I need, I need your interaction. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Because you think about a Charger or a Challenger, not with that heavy heart sitting in the front, and you lighten it up there first. Some people going to have some problems hooking, you know what I mean? Like, I know we all talk about driver mod, but some people going to have a lot of problems hooking. Oh. When you go to lighten up a car and people have already had the car, they are already making provisions to deal with the weight and they dealt with it per this car, you're going to have a completely different car. I don't know if they're going to use the same frame or chassis if you will but lightening up the heart first you don't have this big bulky thing under the hood that's going to be a, a, a real problem you know what I mean I, I could say Houston we have a problem but I don't think it's going to be a problem I think it's going to be fun I think it's going to be real fun because it's going to introduce a lot of people who don't know anything about boots to boots. Like, you think about the people who've had the 57. You think about the people who've had the scat pack. The people who had the Mustang, the Corvette, NA, no boots, naturally aspirated. And then you introduce them to boots. So whereas they get to understand the joys of dealing with boost and how to do this and how to do that when they already know about building up motors. Some people is going to be a, a learning curve. Some people going to adapt to it and some people going to take to it and, and hit the streets running. I look forward to all of them because it creates it creates a different atmosphere when it comes down to tuning aftermarket parts launching every i'm talking about it creates a different atmosphere because when you got this lighter hearted vehicle pulling up to this heavy hearted vehicle and it's the whoa, 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 you know you hear all of the beautiful sounds that you hear from a mean V8. And then you hear this, this thing over here and then, you know, you don't really know if it's coming to bring the pain or if it's just sounding like something. And it takes off on you and you have no catch up. That's a real issue. You feel what I'm saying? So, what I want you guys to do, 
do your due diligence to look up what FCA is bringing to the game. To me, I know it's nothing new. In essence, it is nothing new. Because with the Cherokee, I remember back in the day, the Cherokee, they had an inline six and uh, I remember having like HO or something on a high output. All right. I'm thinking it's the same thing as that. Reconfigured, redesigned, with a different um, ratio. We talk about gears, we talk about everything. Kind of redesigned, but it's still their design. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's like taking something that you've already made and making it better. All right? You know, so I'm enthused. I'm real enthused to see how this thing is going to work. If you're thinking about everything that everybody has went through, with the Hellcat, Scat Pack, 5.7, everything that everybody has went through, I feel like it's time to learn again. You know what I mean? Because people took these variants and learned what to do to make them competable, if that's a word. <laughs> I know my, my cousin's going to be like, hey, I don't know, you, you reached with that one. But, you know, just making a car able to compete with the, the people that they're hanging out with. You know, a lot of people do what they do in Mexico. Some people go to the track. But no matter how you get it, make your car how you want it. So then it's not too much of this and too much of that and not enough kick ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> and yo, that's been my video. I thank you guys for everybody who has made it to this point. Make sure that you pull up on my page if you have not pull up and subscribe. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys can watch the video and have not subscribed. So I ask you, pull up and subscribe. Like the video. If you like what I'm talking about, leave me a like. Comment down below. I want to hear from you. Alright? I'll talk to you guys later. You know what the vibes be about. I said that. It's real wrong. What the vibes be about. Vibes be about. What the vibes be about. I, I don't know. I got to work on that. The vibes we got, that's kind of like my new thing with the vibes we got. You know, people be like, you know, if I, anyway, I told you guys later. Wrench Turner on the checkout, getting these insects, insects out my face. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.